Power Rangers Dino Fury Season 2 Episode 17 Things Unspoken This was an Izzy focused episode and once again Izzy focused episodes are great they're fantastic and this episode was like none other with an excellent performance done by Tessa Rao and of course by Fern's actress Jacqueline Joe. And seeing the chemistry that these two uh, actresses have and how the characters play off each other is really great to see in this episode because you get wrapped up in the emotion, you get wrapped up in the scenes and you feel for these characters. So the synopsis for this episode goes like this. Fern is offered a place in an elite sports college, but Izzy hides that she was also offered a place, but turned it down to focus on being a ranger. When Fern finds out that Izzy hid things from her, their relationship is put to the test. So, once again, this focuses on the relationship between Fern and Izzy, and once again, I think this is where some of the writing points for Dino Fury is really strong, because they know how to write Izzy and Fern as a really good couple in this show, and it's probably been written better than most of the other couples in Power Rangers history, because the arguments that they get into in this episode, apart from the Ranger stuff and stuff like that, they're very realistic compared to other things we've seen in previous Power Rangers seasons with other characters. And you do wonder if these two characters are going to stay together at the end of the episode. Are they going to fix their relationship moving forward? No one really had any idea. Well, some people probably did. But it's a good sort of tension between the characters if you do wonder if they're going to patch things up. But, of course, they do with this being Power Rangers. Their relationship is patched up at the end of the episode. But the whole premise of this episode is Fern sort of discovering that Izzy is the Green Ranger at the end of the episode. But Izzy, because she's a ranger, she can't tell Fern that she's a ranger as well. So it's that whole secret identity thing that they've got in Power Rangers where they can't tell anyone because it'll put them in danger and stuff like that. These Zordon rules that are sort of 30 years outdated and probably need to be changed for a couple of people because we have characters like Dr. Akana who discovered who the rangers are. And then we have characters like Izzy who can't tell Fern that she's a ranger because I guess there's the difference of getting discovered and blabbing about your secret to other people. It is what it is. But I gotta say, I like it how Fern discovers how Izzy is the Green Ranger because Izzy says to Fern, I love you too. And Fern goes, I've never told anyone that I love Izzy. And then she pieces it together that oh wait, my girlfriend is the Green Ranger, and that's when we have this lovely moment where the characters hug at the end of the episode, and it's a really nice, wholesome moment, where once again, the acting between the two actresses was really amazing. Really, really amazing. Now, another character that has a good arc in this episode is Warden Garcia, because when he finds out that Izzy turned down the offer, he comes up to Fern and Izzy while they're talking, and he gets big mad, and he reveals the secret that Izzy turned down the opportunity to go to the sports college, and uh, Warden has this moment where he apologizes to Izzy for shouting at her, and sort of being mad at her at the decision she's making, and the warden says I made the same mistake with your brother and I'm not going to do it with you I'm going to let you live your life because whatever you did I'm sure you did it for a good reason but you should also patch things up with Fern because she's your girlfriend and you shouldn't keep her in the dark so I really like how the warden had a character arc in this as well and the warden is one of those characters that has come around in the show where he was the caring loving strict dad but now, ever since season two, he's come around and he's become a lot more cooler, still wacky, still goofy, but he's got a heart and he cares for his kids, and that's what I like about this character. That's what I like about him a lot. So, it's cool to see uh, Blair Strang as Warden Garcia having this arc as that character and sort of his arc coming in full circle. So, I do wonder 
if we're going to get any more episodes focusing around him in the nearby future. I think there is one from what I remember with the synopsises. I can't remember all of them, but either way, I do like seeing the warden now, and I've sort of warmed up to him after this character has had his moments in the spotlight, and he's sort of learning about learning about his mistakes and letting his kids live their own life and making decisions for themselves. So he's come around on that for his own character. But speaking about the Warden, there is a plot thread with the bad guys in this episode where they want to steal one of his keys because it's a key to a massive super giga drill, if I remember correctly. Um, so of course the bad guys want it. It's a drill that can go underground because it's something to do with the pipes uh, or the sinkholes or something like that. So the bad guys in the episode are trying to steal Warden Garcia's key. And of course they are successful at the end of the episode, which again, the bad guys are getting some wins in this season as well, where they thought that the key was destroyed because the monster stole it and they destroyed the monster. But somehow this key is made out of titanium or whatever Captain America's shield is made out of because this key survived another day and now it's in the hands of the bad guys of the voids as ollie calls them at the end of the episode which he says oh it's sort of like a band they're called the voids when he said that i thought oh he's calling them the voids because they're the voids family uh, i thought that's what he was going with but hey you do you um but yeah i can't wait to see where that plot twist is going to go probably going to pay off in the finale where the bad guys are going to dig themselves underground probably into the rangers base who knows who knows but either way this episode was a big emotional episode lots of fun i enjoyed it quite a fair bit i love the relationship between izzy and fern and a lot of people are predicting that fern might become a ranger in cosmic fury they think that fern might be uh one of the many rangers if it's a cure ranger adaptation she could be one of them and if she does become one of them i'm all for that i like uh jacqueline joe's performance as the character fern uh she's always got that nice smile on her face which is great to see uh with the character and with the actress um but i can't wait to see where that character is going to go next if she does make an appearance in season 30 and hopefully she gets to go on space adventures with Izzy and the gang in season 30. Maybe we'll see that, but no doubt about it, she probably will appear in season 30. If she's Izzy's girlfriend, then no doubt about it, she might appear. Hopefully they don't write her off in the show if she doesn't choose to appear in season 30, but I'm hoping uh, Fern will appear in season 30 and they can do something else with that character moving forward, like why is Izzy gone for so long and stuff like that but really she's been in space the whole time so maybe they'll do one of those plot, plot points in the show but either way uh episode 17 of Dino Fury season 2 really good episode I enjoyed it quite a fair bit a couple more episodes to go until the big season finale which I'll probably review all those episodes in one go because it's one big free part of from what I've heard so I'll probably do one big review and then I'll just leave episode 18 and 19 as separate reviews moving forward. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, what did you think of Power Rangers Dino Fury Season 2, Episode 17? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. With that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys later. He said, take care. Bye.